This morning I'm going to load some 2,000 milliliter uh, tubes for my 3D uh, Potterbot. So first I'm going to run some clay through the uh, Venco bug mill. This is uh, Maccabee's uh, Cone 5 from Laguna. That's the, uh, the number. Okay, so this clay has been de-aired and it's been sitting in the pug mill. So I'm going to mix it with some of this fresh clay. Consistency right, I add just a touch of distilled water, not much, and this is kind of the consistency I'm looking for. You can push a, a finger through the clay where out of the uh, out of the bag. That's just a straight Maccabees. It takes much more force to put your finger through you know, compared to, to this. And there's a fair bit of force. And I can, I can push my finger completely through the prepared clay. But <clears throat> it's been through the pug mill a couple of times. All right, so continue to... Okay, now we're going to uh, de-air the clay a little bit before we put it into the uh, uh, polycarbonate tubes. So we have our vacuum going, and if I can get a seal on this old vent fill, there we go, we got about 15 inches is what I'm running. So, I'm going to separate the clay that's um, been de-aired. trying to keep the hopper relatively full. It works better for the de-airing de operation. I don't know if you can focus on that, but 
We're getting there. It needs more. section here in the front. Okay, so we have two pins that hold the tube in place. Just cleaning out the hole. Alright, tube. <coughs> Hopefully you can hit the hole. Okay, okay. there you go. All right, we're still running about 13. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna load the tubes. Again, I'm trying to keep the hopper relatively full. getting the pins out because the pins are quite a bit of pressure. So you can push down and get the first pin out usually without too much problem. Then the second one has quite a bit of load on it. So that came out easier than I anticipated. Give it a little twist and a rock. And there you go. Okay, on this one we're going to just hit it a little bit with a solution of water and just a touch of soap, you know, four or five drops max. In. Pops in. All right, let's see the difference with a, a bit of soap solution. Actually, I'm going to clean out the vacuum chamber.
got 10. There. 13. Okay, here we go. This is with a soap solution. <laughs> Soap solution, there was definitely an improvement to the speed. I wanted to discuss how long the clay can actually uh, stay in the tube and still be useful. Um, there's, there's two factors. One is uh, the body of the clay. The thicker the clay, um, it, it's going to thicken in the tube as time goes by to a certain extent. And this can be um, this can be negatively affected if you don't unload the tube. So if you print a little bit, leave the tube, print a little bit over a period of a couple of weeks without unloading the pressure off the tube, the moisture from the tube is going gonna, is gonna to come out, uh, typically through the top. But this tube is probably three weeks old. I just finished it up. Uh, it refused to print anymore uh, once, once it, it reached the bottom. And, and this is why. Um, I, I didn't unload the pressure off the tube probably, but you can see this is just incredibly hard. I can't even dig my finger into it. And this is the last uh, little bit that was in the, uh, uh, the tube. So, I mean, I'm, I'm putting a sizable amount of pressure on it to get it to, get it to, come, to come out. I can't even push, no matter how hard I push, I, I can't push down inside the clay. And this is what you want to avoid. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit our website.